We're learning charges have been dropped against one of the people accused of voter fraud by the DeSantis administration. It's a development that could put other cases in jeopardy as well. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is following this one for us from Miami. Christina. And that is one of the headlines coming out of this. Will it be precedent setting? You know, these statewide election crimes cases, they did face a significant, if narrow, legal challenge out of Miami-Dade County today. The truth is, man, is I'm not guilty. That is Ronald Lee Miller, one of the men the state accused of election crimes. He's always maintained he did not knowingly vote illegally, even showing off his government issued voter ID card. It was all screwed up, you know. I didn't vote ahead. Why are you son? At his hearing before Judge Laura Stutzen, a defense attorney makes mention of a ruling which happened minutes before in Judge Milton Hirsch's courtroom related to Robert Lee Wood, another man accused of election code violations. The legal issue is identical. Judge Hirsch dismissing Wood's case today. The reason? He believes the Office of the Statewide Prosecutor, or OSP, lacks jurisdiction. It is an old truth that all politics is local, the judge wrote in his order. OSP seeks to stand that old truth on its head. My client will be very happy that at this point, the statewide office is out of his life. Not just yet. The statewide prosecutor and governor's executive office disagreeing with Judge Hurst's interpretation of state statute, telling us they plan to appeal. Woods defense attorney Larry Davis believes the ruling could be precedent setting. There's a number of lawyers around the state that were waiting for this ruling um, that, you know, that have filed similar motions. Which takes us right back to Miller. I feel great. I feel good. His defense attorneys already filing a motion to dismiss. What's going on in Tallahassee, as well as these other jurisdictions that are trying to keep people from voting, to me, is horrible. And it needs to stop. And coming up on Local 10 News at 6, we are working a few things for you. One, we're going to walk you through what the upcoming legal process is for both of those cases. And you'll hear some exclusive legal analysis about the significance of that judge's ruling today. That's all coming up in an hour. For now, reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, Christina, thank you.